Hi, I am here with Bibi, and we are going to put a Royal Dutch trim on her. To do this, I'm using my Artero Spectra Clipper. I am using it set on a 15 blade, and I am trimming against the grain to put the pattern. Because this pattern has to be very short and very crisp, going against the grain really helps to set this pattern in properly. The band around the waist is a little bit wider and the strip up the middle of the back is quite narrow. I have her ears banded to keep them out of the way of the clippers. And keep the longer hair parted out of the way and I tilt my clipper up on edge in order to get the lines close to where they need to be without using the whole blade width. You can use a little 5 8 blade for this, what some people refer to as a foot blade, uh, but you would have to use that on a traditional clipper and not a 5 and one clipper. If you do not have a 5 8 blade or a 3 8 blade, you can always use a wide blade tilted up on edge. You want to match the line coming up the back, front to back. Being careful everything is straight and even. This pattern trim was very popular in the 60s and 70s. It has dropped from popularity, but people love it when they see it. It really enhances the poodle style, especially for a female poodle. Gives them a lot of shape and a lot of style. It's very cute. You just continue to even up and sharpen up these lines. You always want your clipper work very crisp and clean. I take the neck band down to just above the shoulder blades. You definitely do not want to take it too low. This trim is wonderful because you can put fancy collars on your poodle and the hair will not hide the collar. When I'm setting the back of the top knot, I keep it coming down into a point shape. I love these Artero Spectra clippers for this as they do not get hot. It takes forever so I don't have to worry about my blade heating up. It does take time to get all these lines nice and crisp. Just a little at a time. For the Royal Dutch, I make sure that the corners are rounded. For the crisscross Dutch, you would keep nice sharp lines, but the Royal Dutch, I like a nice rounded corner. I'm going to comb it all up into place. Now that it's all combed up into place, I'm going to go around the edges, make sure everything works.
These fancier trims do take a little extra time. Many groomers charge extra for this. I do not. Just keep going in and cleaning it up. Now I'm going to work on sharpening up the point at the back of the top knot. I use this point to blend up my neck hair into a very pretty top knot. If you take it all the way up to the back skull, you end up with this little tiny cap on top of the dog's head instead of a pretty top knot. It also accentuates the neck. It's much more stylish in my opinion. Now I'm going to scissor the edges of the lines that I just made, giving them an even more crisp look. You have to make sure your dog is standing straight with their head facing forward when you go to scissor. If they're bent, your lines will come out all wrong. BB is my own dog. I absolutely adore her. I have three dogs. Two poodles and a carry blue terrier. That's a good girl. It's okay. It's definitely starting to take shape. Now we'll start the scissor work, rounding everything out. This is where it all comes together. I love the look of a hand scissored style. It's very important if you keep your dog in a hand scissored style that you keep the dog's hair brushed and combed. You never want to keep your dog with a lot of hair if you're not very, very good at the coat maintenance then it becomes simply torture to keep a dog with hair if you do not keep your dog's hair brushed. I do have videos to show you how to keep your dog's hair brushed and combed.
such a good girl, baby. She's like, not the tail. She was definitely due for a haircut. When scissoring your dog, you always want to keep your scissors flat on the dog's hair. I comb up the entire side of the dog and then scissor the entire side of the dog. Make sure every hair is up, out, and in place before I start scissoring. So now I'm going to angle that top knot back, sharpening up the lines on the point. To bring it down across the shoulder blade, I follow the natural angle of where the shoulder should be. Not always exactly where it is. She has beautiful shoulders, so I can just follow her natural lines. She is an AKC Grand Champion. And she is three and a half years old. I always encourage them to keep their nose going forward. And just keep going over the scissor work until everything's even and smooth. How much perfection you're wanting to achieve, it depends on how long you're willing to scissor. Most of my dogs, I try not to scissor for too awful long because they have to stand there a long time. If they're getting ready for a competition or show, sometimes I will split, spend, you know, a few days getting them ready as opposed to doing it all in one day. If it's a grooming competition, of course, they have to stand there for an hour and a half. And they have to be well trained to handle that work, which she is. But I no longer compete in grooming competitions. I just enjoy working on my own dogs and the dogs that I'm charged with caring for.
I adore toy poodles. They're such intelligent dogs. You can't imagine the intelligence that these little dogs have. I always like to scissor in really pretty angulation with low set hocks. Just need to tidy up the lines on the clipper work now that the scissoring is getting pretty well done. Make sure the chest matches the roundness of the sides. And her ears needed trimming a little today. I'm trying to blend them into the roundness of the shape of her jacket. Make her top knot in balance with her tail and her body. Scissor in some definition over the ears. I scissored the top knot with it in place. I don't comb it side to side and do some things that other groomers teach. I just put it right where I want it and scissor it there. Check her underside with her standing up so I can see it. She has really strong rear legs. If you have a poodle with weaker legs, you do not want to scissor them this way. But she has extremely strong legs, so it's okay for her. And just put the finishing touches. Round her all out everywhere. That's a good girl, BB. Very good. And so pretty. I'm doing a final comb through, making sure nothing's coming too much out of place. She's getting tired, so I'm wanting her to go take a rest as quickly as possible. I'm 
And there's that yawn. She's like, I'm ready for a nap now, Mom. You're almost finished. So this is what the trim looks like. A very pretty, very girly little haircut. On a very pretty, very girly little dog. She says, yeah, I know I'm all that. If you want this hairstyle, ask for the Royal Dutch with long ears. Thank you for watching. Follow Ask a Groomer on YouTube for more videos like these. Be sure to click that subscribe button when you're there and the notification bell so that you can see more of these videos every time they come up. Follow Suzanne Grandy on Facebook. We post live videos there frequently. All right, baby. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.